Hey, it's Mark here. So the canvas, when we're looking at a canvas, there's lots of good things and features and benefits of the canvas that you kind of need to know about. One of the main things is, is that the canvas has a texture throughout the um, material. Now, depending on the lab that you choose, you really need to make sure that the quality of the actual canvas is quite high. Now this one that I have is a cotton canvas. Um, it's really beautiful for black and white and for color. Now, as I showed you on the video with the canvases from B Pro, this is a B Pro canvas from Australia. As you can see from the back, it's got that really sturdy frame. You've got that nice curve on the inside so the canvas isn't pressing against the, um, the timber as well. And also the best part about uh, B Pro is that it's got its 75 year guarantee. Now the reason why canvases are a great product to have in your product range is that it's simplified. Everybody knows what a canvas is. Everyone knows what they look like. It's your job to highlight the features and benefits of the canvas, which I did in the other video. Um, but there's a few extra things that you need to think about when you are looking at your canvas, especially when you order a canvas. Now, I've got another little canvas here. This is my little girl, uh, Lily, when she was only six uh, months old. What I love about canvases, especially for newborns, is the texture of the blanket comes out in the texture of the blank of the uh, uh, canvas, and you get the wraparound effect. So what you can see here is a, is a um, blanket's actually wrapping around the entire, the entire canvas. Now it's really important that you specify with your clients whether you want the wrap around as the wrap or whether you want to end it as just a, as the clean edge. It's something that is overlooked quite regularly at the start where photographers don't realize that you can do the wrap around or the clean edge. I would suggest look at the image that you have and then see what's gonna suit the best. I prefer the wraparound for all occasions. In this occasion, we didn't do it. Um, there's a few different caution things. For starters, this is a part of a collection which is up here as well. When you wrap it around, make sure you see what the wraparound is. So sometimes it's an ear of a person. Sometimes it's an object. Sometimes it kind of throws out the picture a little bit. Um, so either way, when you think about your canvas, there's two options. You can do a clean edge or you can do the wraparound. I strongly suggest the wraparound when it comes to babies and blankets because I just love that texture. And that was a real selling point that I used to bring out all the time when we're photographing newborn babies. But again, the timber, it's sturdy, it's, 40, it's a 45 mil hardwood. So when you're asking about your canvases, look at the type of timber. If it's a, a softer wood, a pine, a balsa wood, anywhere between 20 mil and 10 mil, just be careful because it's not gonna be sturdy. Where this is like a brick. This ain't gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna warp on the wall. It's not gonna twist it, and it won't cave at all. So just be careful with the quality of the timber that you have when you're choosing a canvas. Again, the canvas quality, the texture, the print quality as well, um, all things to consider. But put a canvas on your price list. It's simple, it's easy, it's all about the image and uh, less about the dynamics of the product in terms of all the fancy stuff around it. So it's a beautiful product, it's really simplified, and to be honest, you can find it anywhere around the world. Speak to you soon, bye.